Chapter 36 Frank Frank took the quickest possible shower, put on the clothes that Hazel had set out, an olive green shirt with beige cargo pants, really? Then grabbed his spare bow and quiver and bounded up the attic stairs. The attic was full of weapons. His family had collected enough ancient armaments to supply an army. Shields, spears, and quivers of arrows hung on along one wall, almost as many as in Camp Jupiter Armory. At the back window, a scorpion crossbow was mounted and loaded, ready for action. At the front window stood something that looked like a machine gun with a cluster of barrels. A rocket launcher? He wondered aloud. No, nope, no, nope, said a voice from the corner. Potatoes! Ella doesn't like potatoes! The harpy had made a nest for herself between two old steamer trunks. She was sitting in a pile of Chinese scrolls, reading seven or eight of them at once. Ella, Frank said, where are the others? Ruff! She glanced up and then returned into her reading, alternately picking at her feathers and turning the pages. Ruff! Ogre watching! Ella doesn't like ogres! Potatoes! Potatoes? Frank didn't understand until he swiveled the machine gun around. Its eight barrels were loaded with spuds. At the base of the gun, a basket was filled with more edible ammunition. He looked out the window. The same window his mom had watched him from when he had met the bear. Down in the yard, the ogres were milling around, shoving each other, occasionally yelling at the house and throwing bronze cannonballs that exploded in midair. They have cannonballs, Frank said, and we have a potato gun. Starch, Ella said thoughtfully. Starch is bad for ogres! The house shook from another explosion. Frank needed to reach the roof and see how Percy and Hazel were doing, but he felt bad about leaving Ella alone. He knelt next to her, careful not to get too close. Ella, it's safe not, uh, not safe here with the ogres. We're going to be flying to Alaska soon. Will you come with us? Ella twitched uncomfortably. Alaska? 626,425 square miles! State mammal? The moose? Suddenly, she switched to Latin, which Frank could just barely follow thanks to his Camp Jupiter lessons. To the north, beyond the gods, by the legion's crown, falling from ice, the son of Neptune shall drown! She stopped and scratched her disabled red hair. Hmm, burn! The rest is burned! Frank could hardly breathe. Oh, was that... was that a prophecy? Where did you read that? Moose! Ella said, savoring the word. Moose! 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 The house shook again. Dust rained down from the rafters. Outside, an ogre bellowed. Frank Zane, show yourself! Nope, Ella said. Frank shouldn't... Nope! Just stay here, okay? Frank said. I've got to go help Paisel and Percy. He pulled down the ladder to the roof. Morning, Percy said grimly. Beautiful day, huh? He wore the same clothes as the day before. Jeans, his purple t-shirt, and polar terrick jacket. But they'd obviously been freshly washed. He held his sword in one hand and a garden hose in the other. Why was there a garden hose on the roof? Frank wasn't sure. But every time the giant set up a cannonball, Percy summoned a high-powered blast of water and detonated the spear in midair. Then Frank remembered his family was descended from Poseidon, too. Grandmother said their house had been attacked before. Maybe they'd put a hose up here for just that reason. Hazel patrolled the widow's walk between the two attic gables. She looked so good it made Frank's chest hurt. She wore jeans, a cream-colored jacket, and a white shirt that made her skin look as warm as cocoa. Her cur curly hair fell around her shoulders. When she came close, Frank could smell the jasmine shampoo. Hazel gripped her sword. When she glanced at Frank, her eyes flashed with concern. Are you okay? She asked. Why are you smiling? Uh, it's nothing, he managed. Thanks for breakfast and the clothes and not hating me. Hazel looked baffled. Why would I hate you? Frank's face burned. He wished he kept his mouth shut, but it was too late now. Don't let her get away, his grandmother had said. You need strong woman. It's just last night, he stammered. When I summoned the skeleton, I thought, I thought you thought I was repulsive or something. Hazel raised her eyebrows. She shook her head in dismay. Frank, maybe I was surprised. Maybe I was scared of that thing. But repulsed? The way you commanded it, so confident in everything? Like, oh, by the way, guys, I have this all-powerful Spartus we can use. I couldn't believe it. I wasn't repulsed, Frank. I was impressed. Frank wasn't sure he heard her right. He was... Uh, Impressed? By me? Percy laughed. Dude, it was pretty amazing. Honest? Frank asked. Honest, Hazel promised. But right now we have other problems to worry about, okay?